So last week we took a little robot that was designed by an amazing artist called Honorio De Piro. And this week I wanted to just show you how I did the um, uh, comic style look. So we've gone for a, what we call a matte cap, which is a material capture. That's what you first saw that in ZBrush back in the day and now we've got it in Nomad. I'm going to show you how to create this comic style and then bring it all together in Procreate. So the, it, the actual models are created in Nomad and then the, the map caps, the materials are created in Procreate and then we bring it all back together in Procreate. So let's take a look at all of those things. So before we start, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. So firstly, uh, because of complaints that I had about the uh, incessant tapping on the screen, I've got one of these now, which is a rubber tip on the end of my Apple Pencil. And you can pick these up for, for next to nothing. They're, they're a couple of quid on Amazon. Don't buy the extortionate prices of the ones that are being advertised on Instagram. Just get yourself a pack of these. There's 40 for about 4 99 I think. Um, and it just stops that noise if you're going to do recordings. Personally, I don't mind it. And someone did say it was like ASMR. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Uh, but for anyone that does get annoyed, they won't be hearing my pencil taps anymore. And the second thing, finally, I'm starting to use this. So this is a mouse cursor on my iPad. So I should be able to highlight things for you much more clearly now because of the mouse that I'm using. And the one I've got, again, it's dirt cheap. It's a Jellicum one, and it's got a USB-C dongle. Um, it comes with a USB-C, and it also gives you a USB-3. Both really good little uh, tips and tricks there for, for the iPad. And again, I'm doing a video in a couple of weeks that'll go through all of the things that I use, like Paper-like for the screen and, and something called Sketchboard. So that's something to look out for. So let's just take a look at this, which is how to make some comic art with matte caps in Nomad Sculpt. So here's our little robot that we created from Honorio's design. And this can apply to any model that you've got. And we'll do it with a couple of models. So let's firstly see how we would apply a matte cap and what we have to do differently than, than, than the, the way we've got it here. So I'm just going to do a three fingered roll and that's rolling around the lighting. And I've left the lights on so you can see that the, the lights are moving around. And also this here, which is your, if I just move the mouse along, you can see this is your HDRI image. And this is being rotated. You can either do it singly like this or with three fingers like this. And that's doing the lights and the HDRI. So that's because we've got a dynamic setup with lights and HDRI, but we're not going to need that for the comic style. So if we come up here again and change from PBR over to matte cap, and now you're using just these matte caps here, material captures. And I've got a load of comic ones down here already, and there's, there's, there's lots and lots of options. You get all of these... Um, to start with when you open up a Nomad. Um, so there's plenty of metals and skins, and this is a nice one. Um, kind of like got a, a black body with a white outline. But what we want is more like this, which are more graphic styles. Now, that one's a bit extreme. And with three fingers now, rather than rotating the lighting, you're rotating the image on the on the, the model. So I'll show you what that means once we once we get into making some for ourselves. So if we just go to a, a little bit more, so this one is just literally got a black outline. So that isn't really that useful. If you think about it, all you're going to see is white. This one's white with a grey uh, light at the side, so that's better. And then we can really get complex and we can start adding things like half tone. And this is where you start to get really nice complex black and white imagery that can, we can use in our in our designs. So let's see how we would make those. I've covered this quite a few times in the past, but it's always good to remind new users that you can do this kind of thing. So switch over to Procreate. We'll make one 2K, so 2048 by 2048. And just tap that. And there we have a square. So to make the matte cap, we're going to need to do some painting in the set, the center, obviously. So first of all, I'm going to turn it all black. So bring the color down and drop the black in there. Now I've got something black. And now I need a sphere on there. So I'm going to make a new layer with plus. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look for this one, which is the selection tool. And I want ellipse. 
and just zoom out with a pinch a little bit and I want to draw a circle as close to the center as I can. So, in fact, I'll just zoom in a little bit so I can see it a bit better. You don't want to cover the bottom like that. So we'll do that one more time. So we want it as close to the edge on all of the corners as you, as you can without going over that corner. You've got to make sure that every bit is, is within, the, within the square, something like that. Once you've done that, you can just simply drag in white. And that gives you a white circle, so you can have that white circle on and off, as you can see. And you can also, if you hit the little N key, you can also reduce the opacity, and that will give you just a, a you know, white over black with, with less opacity is going to give you grey, isn't it? So, so that's, that's that one done. So what we can do is we can duplicate that. And then what we'll do is for now, we will just turn off the background so we can see. So we've got no background color at all now. And that means we're just checking that we've got a complete white circle like so. And then what we want to do is think about the um, uh, how we're going to affect this surface. So... One thing we can do is we can put an outline around it. So, and again, there's plenty of ways to do that. So one way would be just to take this one and just shrink it down a little bit, like so. If you do it, you, um, you can change it. Well, it is already uniform. Actually, I was going to change it to uniform, like so. And then we'll invert it. So we'll go curves, layer, and we'll drop this end up and this end down. That gives us an inverted one, like so. So that would give us now... That's like the 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 matte cap that um, Nomad gives you, which is black with a with a white outline. So we probably don't want that. We probably want the inverse of that. So um, you could save that now and save that as one variant if you want. So let's just do what I said, which is invert it, and let's invert the one below it as well. Again, there's lots and lots of ways to do this. So you don't you know you don't need to 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 do exactly as I'm doing. To make things a little bit easier for you to see, I'll just put as a uh, something like a green background. And that means uh, we're not going to use that, but it just helps me to show you what we're doing with, with the matte cap there. And now what we want to do is do something inside the white one. So to stop us going outside the line, let's just tap on the circle and we'll use alpha lock. And that means I can't paint outside. So if, for example, if I was going to paint on it, uh, let's go a full solid round brush, intensity all the way up. And if I was going to paint on it, you'll see, let's just pick a silly colour. You'll see, there we go. So I can't paint outside it. So that's exactly what we wanted. So now what we need to do is paint some of the grey areas. So um, it might actually be easier if we painted this grey. So we'll go... Instead of painting it, we'll make the white slightly less opaque. And that's, that's that one done. First of all, we're going to just duplicate that. I'm going to shrink that down. And then we're going to change it to um, freeform. Bring it up, rotate it. And this is now going to be warp. So we'll use warp. And what we're going to do now is this is making us the lower edge highlight. So we don't want it to be a completely predictable shape. But what we can do is we can just smudge it around until we've got something that looks like the reflection you of light you would see on, on, a, on a sphere. So that's enough for what we want. And then we'll duplicate that. Go up here, change it to freeform or uniform, whichever, rotate it around, scale it down and then warp that one into place. And that means we've got the, the comic-y look already. So we've got that grey background, we've got the white or the, 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 the black outline, which we can make thicker or narrower, whatever, whatever we, we like as we, as we try and develop the look. And we've now got um, a couple of highlights on there as well, all of, all of very, very stylized. Now what we want is something called half tone. So before I do that, I will just switch the green off and I'm going to save this where it can be used. So we're going to call it, uh, sh sorry, we're going to save it as share JPEG and we're going to save it in files. And in, the, in your iPad, you want to save it in Nomad 
and then you want to save it in Mac Caps. And we'll just give it a name. So we'll call this, bring the keyboard up. We'll just call it SGFX Comic 01. So that's the first one done. And now let's bring in some halftones. So I've got some that I downloaded, and halftones just dots of various sizes. So if we go to add, insert a photo, and we'll just bring in dots like that. And then what we'll do is we'll use a multiply blend. So, and we'll just go um, over the top. Uh, let's just see whether overlay or multiply will be best. Multiply does what we want, which gets rid of all of the, the um, all of the white for us. And then what we can do is we can either move that around until we get it quite right and scale it up. And then we can also either erase a little bit. So if you wanted to, you could erase out of the center here a little bit and then that would that, give you the, the rounded look. Or the thing I prefer to do is just to go back to this warp and I would just use a slightly curved edge in here. So just bring it in like that and just warp it a little bit like that. And we'll try that one first of all and see if that works out. So we'll go file. And that will give us enough to just make a start. So we can now switch back to Nomad. And one thing you will need to do at this point is reboot Nomad because it won't see your Mac cats if you don't. So I'll just do a quick reboot. And there we are back. And we haven't got a Mac cap, um, comic Mac cap on this one at all at the moment. So this is the standard blue one here that you get with the program. And again, three fingers, and you can roll that around and see how that affects it. Remember, this is just being lit by the material, the Mac cap, not by any lighting. So now we can go and find our new ones. So you should see that um, just under the established ones, you can see a little folder icon here. And that tells you that, that these, these are now yours. These are the ones you've installed. So let's just switch to one of those. And instantly you can see we get this mat cap effect. Now you can see how that's stretching at, all the way down this middle section here. Depending on your model, you will get extreme stretching or, or less. So you have to now roll it around um, until you find the, 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 the correct position. So you'll find that you can, you, you can get a really dark line in it that, that could be useful or sometimes it's not useful or you could find that the light just drops quite nicely on an edge um, or you could find that you've got big problems so if you look down here on the bottom left you, you know we've got some really bad pixelation and that a lot of the problems will come if you don't have a high enough res model so one of the ways to fix that is just go in and subdivide it and quite often a good way of doing it is to do what's called flat subdivision and that means it won't round it when we subdivide it so um, I don't want to go any higher than that because it's it's quite quite a high a few high millions now. So we did do a couple of them, didn't we? So there was another one here. You can try that one or that one. That's the one without any of the um, any of the half tone tone in it. And if you start building up your different um, yeah, use exactly the same technique, but just build up a, a, a pack of different ones looking like this. And if you want to look at look at mine, I'll just show you exactly what they look like in um, the files manager. So as you can see, these are all mine. And down here, we have a really wide range of all the different mat caps that you can try and use to give you this comic effect. And you will need a wide range of them because what you'll find is that different different angles of, of, of the comic panel will will need different lighting because you can't move the lighting other than you know rolling around the mat cap then you won't always get what you want off one mat cap so make some crazy black and white images don't obviously go over to to these type which are very um you know reflecting the real world but try something like that which is like a bowling ball effect or try something um completely random like um put in just a black and a white and as you can see on the model these can have crazy effects. So if we go back to that black and white one that I just showed you, it can have a really dynamic effect. So if you're doing um, something like a city, that might look like this.
and that's going to give you a really dramatic effect but it's great for building up your scenes so simple polygonal shapes with a really cool matte cap and you can get crazy looking designs crazy looking effects just from rotating with three fingers around that scene let's have a look at other robots so here's r2d2 and this guy is uh, crazy looking because of all the panelling on him. So I'm going to do a tutorial on this. Um, it's going to be a couple of hours long, actually. So um, this is how to do hard surface in Nomad and then really make it look cool with the matte caps like this. So you, you can really, really get some nice effects now just, just with these simple uh, matte cap techniques. So let me just try a couple more on R2 for you. Um, that's a nice one with the there we go with the with the half tone again and you can really get the effect that i mean that that's with half tone and then probably not something you'd want with comets but that's got depth of field on it as well so it's it's really looking um really dramatic and striking now when you've got all of those panels rendered it's just simply a case of bring them back into procreate and you'll have individual images like this that you've rendered and screenshot from, from Nomad. And then build those into a scene and put a white frame over the top like that. And if that's something that you're interested in, a tutorial on how to build up comic panels, then I'll, I'll do a, another one just to follow up with this if there's enough interest. So, But with just simple mat caps and a few minutes of work, you can get crazy dynamic effects like this. So... Have a go with that. Again, I've covered matte caps a few times with Nomad, but this is this is um, quite special because of the type of robot and the fact that it needed a very specific matte cap. I really hope you're liking these videos, and if you are, please give us a thumbs up. It does help us get in front of other artists who like this kind of content. And if you are liking it, then why not subscribe to the channel and let us tell you when we'll upload new content, which is usually on a Wednesday or a Friday. I hope the video was useful and have a great week.